Hey YouTubers, Juki Dive here. Today I'm going to do a review on Buckman, Old and Douglas. Yes, I've been wanting to do a review of these guys for ages and well now the work, the wait is over and I, I really like how these guys turn out. Like, I think Buckman's done a fantastic job on these guys. They look very accurate to how they looked in the classic series era of the show. Um, era in the show. Specifically, specifically in. Uh, let's, let's just get to cut to the chase. Like, basically, their faces look exactly. Let's just get Douglas. Bas like, basically, their faces look like their looks from seasons two to seven. Seasons two to seven. And that just shows you that Buckman does care. Really does care about the Nostalgic Series fans. And, um,. As you all know, I actually got Donald before Douglas. I think because I always liked Donald. I kind of was more of a D fan of Donald than Douglas. More fan of Donald, in my opinion. So, we'll have a look. Um, as you know, with the differences with them, um, their eyebrows are slightly different. Like, Donald's eyebrows are a little bit more smaller and not as narrow. While Douglas's uh, eyebrows are a, a little bit more narrower. So, which one is which? As you know, my Buckman Donald's missing a front hook dummy. It just fell off. Well, Douglas has still got his. I, I actually got Donald in a, at a hobby shop a few years ago. I got, but I got Douglas off eBay. So, but technically, Douglas is younger than Donald. Yep. Um, so comparison wise, um, so we'll have a look at their names. Uh, Donald has his name plate on it. Nine Donald, and then he's got his number on it, uh, which is number nine. Um, yep, so let's just get Donald over there. Now we'll have a look at Douglas, which I must admit, he's got plate Douglas and he's got number 10. Now, as you know, they're pretty much an accurate scale to how they look in the TV series, so, so let's just get them standing next to Thomas. As you know, they're in really accurate scale with with Thomas, and that's how big they really were in the show. As you know, um, they actually have like black running boards, um, which was actually quite noticeable in the the model in the model series era of the show and the CGI era of the show. Uh, they never had they never had white running boards like Duck and Oliver did in the model series era. Hero, basically, uh, just like Duck, they they were they are a very popular character, very popular characters. Like they had a bunch, they had like, they had like um, okay, three, 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 four, five, five, six, seven, like seven episodes of themselves in the show, plus having plus having. Uh, plus appearing in in two great Thomas movies um, in the Brenner era, no three, no, f no three f in four great Thomas movies of the Brenner era, and yeah. Um, as you know, um, if you have a look, so I think it's great that we have these great characters in the show. Yeah, we have these um. Filling up the gaps between, um, and having now having having all of the f the f of the original eleven Northwestern engines in your range, so it's great. We have Donald and Douglas. Um, if any of you who only collect Hornby models, the Hornby Thomas models, um, if you if you're looking for Donald and Douglas, these are the only models you can get. Buckman Donald and Douglas, if you're just doing more Hobby models and basic it more unrealistic appearances or and railway series likes, um, these are perfect for you. Because they are very accurate to even how they look in the railway series too. And yep, and I think because Hornby never did on Douglas. Like basically they did like the first the first eight Northwestern engines. Thomas, Edward, Henry, Gordon, James, Percy, and Toby and Duck, and then 
They just went straight to Oliver and that was it. They never did Donald and Douglas. So I'm really happy that Buckman did Donald and Douglas. It really helps complete the gap between Northwestern Engines 1 to 8 and 11. So we'll get Donald on to give him a test run. I'm not going to do both of them at the same time because I think it's quite dangerous. Um, Okay, so let's give Donald a run. Now, as you know, uh, I think around that corner, Donald accidentally, like, derailed at one point. Uh, the speed he was going at. And, yep, he actually moves really good for a character. Uh, I actually think he moves really smoothly well. It's so, okay, that's Donald. That's Donald. And now for Douglas. Now, as you know, Douglas' uh, this is motor sounds slightly different to Donald's uh, in a sort of way, even though they do share the same, like, chassis, um, which is very similar to Duck. And, and there you go. Uh, Douglas sounds a lot more different than Donald, uh, which doesn't bother me at all. I think... Let's just... And yeah, Douglas actually moves smoothly very well. And there we go. Okay, so there you go. That's my... So there you go. I, I, I'm actually blown away by these models. I think Buckman's done a fantastic job on these characters. That Hornby never got the chance of doing. And I think Buck... It's a fantastic job. These have to be like one of my favorite Buckman models in the range. My first favorite has to be Buckman Edward, followed by by Buckman Duck. Then the these come at number three. Fourth is Bill and Ben. Fifth is Henry. No, fifth is Henry. No, fifth is Thomas. Sixth is Henry. Seventh is Gordon. Eighth is Percy. Percy, 9th is Toby, and 10th is Diesel. But overall, these are my third favourite Buckman models in the collection, and I think Buckman's done a fantastic job on them. Overall, and later now, and bye enough for this is Juki Dave, signing off. Bye.